Hi, this is Raheem Silfikar here from Excel Basement. Today in this screencast, uh, we will learn the offset function and uh, we will apply this offset function into one of the practical example that is uh, this function will be used to populate dashboard data selected by the user. Okay, so let's first understand what is offset and uh, what are the parameters of offset function. So offset itself uh, explains that it's offsets right uh, it's it's changes its position uh, from the starting point and uh, it's move, move moving towards the into rows and columns okay uh, let's understand its parameter uh, the f there are five uh, parameters of this function that is the inputs like uh, the first is reference rows columns height and width uh, the three are uh, required uh, parameters to be filled in this function and the two are optional that is height and width so the first is reference what is reference in the offset when you type the offset function let's say equals to offset you will get this uh, parameters okay so reference is this is your starting point second is rows how many rows you want to move away from your starting point the point to remember is a positive numbers when you write uh, positive numbers in the raw parameter it moves down and a negative numbers will move up upwards okay then the third parameter is the columns so how many columns you want to move away from your starting point that is the reference point so a positive number moves to the right and a negative number moves to the left in case of the columns parameter then it's come with the optional needs uh, of this function that is the height and width so uh, height like how many rows uh, or up or down you want to expand your range like positive numbers expands downward and negative number expands upward and the last is the width how many columns right to left you want to expand your range okay likewise if i showed you in this example like height or width will be denoted by this so uh, the positive positive number expands to the right and a negative number expands to the left so you can select the height and width of the with the offset function okay let's come to one of the practical example with the offset function okay and we will be applying this as as one of the technique which we which we can use in the dashboard so here you can see uh, one of the very cool example uh, and this uh, original example is shared by chris newman uh, the spreadsheet guru.com is the website and uh, i like it very much and i learned from this uh, offset function technique to be applied on my dashboard so i am sharing with you all today uh, this is very cool trick uh, let's say uh, the, it, there is a data uh, monthly data which consists of uh, revenue cost and incomes right uh, all revenues are in positive figures and cost are in negative figures and what we have applied is uh, a simple sum function right uh, if you can see that there is a uh, uh, chart uh, over here which shows the revenue and income and uh, when i select from a drop down menu uh, it's changes it's changed according to month wise okay and uh, here the data also changes i have the three lines like revenue cost and income which gives me the uh, data according to the month i just select here okay so we will try to make this and um, i will explain you how it can be created so let's uh, get started first i will need a drop down menu here and for drop down i have uh, manage a list over here in my separate column okay go to the developer ribbon uh, go to insert and in form controls uh, click on the combo box and uh, place the combo box right here okay uh, right click on it and go to format control and format control uh, window will appear first we will select the input range so the input range will be the uh, just we have uh, a separate column with the drop down uh, names uh, month wise uh, we will select this range okay cell link will be the uh, c11 why c11 is because we will uh, uh, hide the uh, number uh, populated uh, with this front uh, combo box over here okay so we don't want to uh, uh, make a cell link uh, any of the cell right here we we want to hide this uh, in front of the combo box so we are uh, taking c11 over here 
and there are only six months so we want that drop down lines when I click on this arrow these six uh, drop downs uh, uh, will shown here okay and uh, press ok when you press ok you will uh, get the list Jan, Feb, March okay and uh, if I drag over here and you can see that uh, the numbers are being populated for every month right so let me just uh, place it right here okay now what I have to do is I have to apply the offset function so that it can be show, uh, act like a dynamic one so equals to offset the reference point uh, remember the reference point is your the starting point uh, so my, so my data is starting point is from the revenue okay comma how many rows I want to move uh, upwards or downwards like uh, so uh, there is no uh, movement of the rows here so I will write zero here and for the columns uh, so this is the first column January second column is Feb March similarly this so we know that uh, we have just populated the uh, drop down list and uh, we have uh, referred the cell link of C11 so we will write uh, C11 as we change the months here it will populate the number of columns uh, number of columns here so we will get the columns numbers here so we will put the C11 reference and make it absolute by pressing F4 ok and uh, the height and width is the optional here so we are not using this uh, parameters and bracket close and copy this and uh, fill without formatting ok so that's the second part we have just completed that we have created the drop down menu and we have applied the offset function and if I change this uh, to the gen month so I got uh, revenue cost and income here with my offset function ok when I change this month to May so May is the uh, fifth column and it populates the number over here and uh, it gives me the data fetching from this column right so, so offset is working fine now what I have to create is a small chart so I will select this data go to insert and uh, create the uh, 2d column chart okay and I will delete the uh, unwanted uh, stuff from this chart like the uh, legends or titles right press select this and press delete so delete this uh, right click on it go to select data and uncheck the cost because we we just want to show the revenues and income not the cost okay and uh, deleting this grid lines okay and make it a bit smaller remember press shift and your left arrow key to make it uh, resize and yes here are my format data series and I will uh, decrease the gap width here 51 percent 51 percent is and, uh, 85 percent all right okay I'm using Excel 2013 so now you can see that uh, when I changing the months the data automatically changes with the help of the offset function okay and uh, this chart has been created uh, with the with this data so it's it's like a dynamic one and you can use this uh, great trick in your while you make your dashboard reports okay. thank you